Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, and I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 2 of Pose. Uh, this time the title of the episode is Axis, and I am very, very excited to watch a new episode of Pose. As you guys know, these reactions have been sponsored by Kim. Kiana James here on, on Patreon. I'm going to be reacting to the entire first season of this show and I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, the first episode was really good. Like it started with like me like feeling all the feels because it was so... It was great, okay? The first, like, I don't know, 10 minutes. And then by the end, I was crying. And I, I didn't like that. I didn't enjoy uh, the cry. Actually, it was a, such a good show that I got really emotional and I, I love shows like that but i don't want to cry <laughs> uh but anyways i'm here to do my reaction video for season one episode two uh, and to continue uh throughout the entire season i hope that you guys enjoy i hope that you guys like the first reaction and continue supporting for more if you want to watch the full extended reaction video it will be posted on patreon in case you guys want to support the channel uh go there thank you Kiana, for your support i hope that you and everybody else are enjoying my reactions and like i said give it a lot of thumbs up if you love post subscribe for more comment hit the notification bell and you can also go to patreon to watch the extended version like i just said and i repeated it for some reason but yeah that's it without further ado let's just begin with season one episode two of pose <laughs> I felt the wind on my face my whole life, which means I know when it's at my back. So. Yes, yes, yes. I love how fierce she is. Oh, yes, yes. Wipe the floor. Yes, girl. Nine. Nine. Bitch. Are you blind in one Bitch. Eye? You if your outfit didn't look like the inside of a coffin. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shit. The, the shade of it all. Evangelista, <laughs> yes, baby. Thanks. <laughs> He's cute. I'm Damon. I've never kissed anyone before. Oh, baby. He's such a cutie. Let's have some fun before you meet someone better. <laughs> okay, I need. I think he I'll, needs I'll to cool down. Oh, yeah, you will. The questions I really wanted to know, which was about what men do together and stuff. It's so crazy that they don't teach you things like that. Like with that, with this time, you should teach about everything. What if I'm a bottom and I fall for another bottom? Oh, don't! You said there was no rules. <laughs> what y'all gonna be doing? Bumping purses all night? <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh, we love that. I'm the right guy, and if you ever feel unsure about what that bitch has to say, <laughs> you come straight home to mother. Bless her soul, I swear to God. A true mother right there. Oh, baby. You do know they don't serve our kind here. There's a gay bar? And they're not allowed to be here? No. One drink. Why we like that sometimes, even inside of our community. Latins gaze until it reaches the bottom and lands on our kind. So disgraceful that that happens. Till this day, it still happens. So fucked up. Yes, Damon! I love my child so much. I make it feel like it was improvised. You've been doing that. Now that's a skill I'm so proud. Watch. I'm so proud of my boy. This is a big opportunity for you. Don't blow it. Yeah, don't blow it. I'll be there. So that my children's world is better than the one I grew up in. She always with the bombs. Like, I'm like too emotional to handle this type of thing. Oh, jeez. Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't you dare! I swear I'm about to kick some gay ass. How dare he! Treating my girl like that. Pressuring me to buy things you don't need and that we can't afford. Baby. You don't need? I mean... I mean, she's right. That she really needs that. She doesn't need the fancy dress that she's only gonna wear once. I will be selling that shit again. Can I take you to get some food? I, you know, I don't like where this, I, I'm afraid of what could happen to Calibari Angel. I, I don't trust him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Show them how it's done. Show them. Show them. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to know 
more about her, though. Because there was a time when she created this house, she held Blanca, so... Is it wrong to want to be with one of the few people in the world who isn't? That is so true. To have one person in my life who I know is real? How much are you going to pay me to show up? Oh, come on. <laughs> I even invited you. Uh, I'll show up for like 15 minutes before dipping. Uh-uh. No, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> oh, he is selling. The first time I've been left behind. Jesus, that is so sad. The only fights you have left are with your wrinkles and your oh, oh shit. And walking the balls. Getting us access to worlds you wouldn't dare dream about. I'm yes. told I have the right. All right. Do you love her? I don't know yet. You don't. You're just not tired of fucking her yet. This asshole. Woo! She's coming with a vengeance. This guy have a word with you? This? It's a dude. I am Shut okay. up. You're under arrest for disturbing the peace. Turn around. Oh my god. And this bitch is a plot. She's so brave. Well, this is a surprise. Because I need you to be at the ball tomorrow night so I can reclaim my honor. And you will be there, bitch. <laughs> that matters to you. No, I think that there's more there. Six inches is the minimum. <laughs> I love that. Walking like you were born in a Yes. Is it Aphrodite? Oh my god. Athena. <laughs> oh shit. Electra. <laughs> I like Electra, you know, but <laughs> Yeah, it's working, baby. <laughs> Oh, there you are. <laughs> That's so cute. Whoa. Okay, guys, so that was season one, episode two of Pose. And I just... I don't know why I haven't watched this show before, honestly, because it's, it's so amazing. I loved it. Um, I loved, I loved everything about it. You know, I love, uh, Damon's conversation with, um, with Blanca. I just, I, I love Blanca and I love how much she, you know, despite her, um, diagnose, despite that, or because of it, she is more ready to fight, you know? Um, and, and I have said this before, we own so much to our trans uh family siblings i don't know you know but we own them especially trans women of color uh we own them so so much and and till this day is just crazy that you know sometimes we looked well i don't but some people do look upon um the trans community and some even lesbian gays because i have seen that uh try to like just push the t away when uh we are we are thanks to this women as well you know um uh, and the thing is that if you are not safe and if you're not comfortable in in sight of your own community if you get discrimination inside your own community then what is this fight about you know if we discriminate against our own it's like what's the point aren't we asking for acceptance and when it's asked from us we refuse to to do that it just is it's, it's just the most stupid thing you know uh and 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 i love the fact that you do see different generations even though this is said in the late 80s uh you still see you know one generation of trans women uh getting to the place where we are also for the community and all of that um and you know there it's some sort of passing of the torch for the next generation and blanca it's like i'm fine where we are right now but i want more it, this is this is not it this is the the fight needs to continue until we are accepted and i do want to say that sometimes you know uh they get the, the they are the end 
uh, they receive the worst treatment, you know, uh, from both, from the community and from uh, straight people, you know, so it's so unfair and can't believe that till this day has been, what, 30, 40 years since that day, right? And we are still in that position. We are still, um, they, they are still suffering from discrimination within the uh, community. I'm not saying everyone does, but I do, I, I still see it, you know, I still see that. Um, and the thing is that um, I, I just, I, I love the fact that even though this is said in the late 80s, like I said, it's still so relevant and it still touches uh, subjects that till this day we still touch. Um, I love the conversation between uh, Angel and the other dude. Uh, what is his name? Even Peter's character. I, I don't remember his name. Um, and he's like, you know, I, I have always thought that. I always think that you have to be insane. It, like, people say, oh, it's a choice. And like, do you believe that if it was a choice, I wouldn't choose the easier one? You know, of just live the life like he is doing, like the character is doing, which is, you know, have a wife, have a perfect job, and have kids, and that's it. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't I do that? No, and I always think that, you know, uh, as a bisexual woman, I always think that being trans is like, they are the bravest to live knowing that society, society is going to reject you at any given chance because as a bisexual woman who also happens to have a son I pass as straight you know um, and 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 so you can navigate the world in a different way you know uh, but with with and I, I cannot talk in behalf of gay men and lesbians because that is uh, I'm not so I just I can't speak uh, uh, from that point of view but uh, just seeing, you know, trans women living their truth and being brave and being just, you know, it's just always, I have always thought that they are the bravest, you know, because they live, they live against the world and they don't care and they just live their truth and they just want to be happy and they just want to, you know, succeed and, and, and have a relationship and have, uh, love and happiness just like everyone else. And it's, still a struggle, you know? Um, so I love how he was just like, here, I am the one living the lie. You are not. And like, he's drawn to that because she is unapologetically herself, you know? She doesn't care about how the world will look at her, you know? Uh, she might get hurt by it, yes, but she's still loving herself enough to not live a lie, a lie you know? So I love that. I love that he recognizes that. Now, I am very nervous about his relationship with her because, you know, oftentimes there are sometimes, you know, gay men who just cannot accept themselves and they are homophobic and they, you know, tend to hurt trans women or, you know, a little bit more femme boys, you know, gay guys who are a little bit more delicate. And, you know, and so I am afraid because of that. I am afraid that something might happen to her, you know, something violent from him to her. Uh, it kind of made me change my mind when he was offering her that. Uh, but at the same time, trying to control her could not be a reason to, like, could be a reason to, like, feel like maybe she's in danger. But also, uh, you have to... Um, see that he just doesn't want her to have that type of life, which is kind of good that he thinks about her in that way that he wants to protect her. But, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, it did infuriate me, the fact that the gay men were, like, looking down at them, you know, but I just love Blanca, who still showed up, still was there, and, and for them to understand, you know, that we are all part of this community. If we can make ourselves feel, feel comfortable with, like, within our walls, in our community, then how is it that we ask others to understand us where, when we 
don't understand ourselves. Like, it's insane. Um, also, I love, you know, I, I the first episode and, and kind of like halfway through this episode, uh, we are introduced, of course, to Electra, the mother of House Abundance. And, you know, she might seem like, you know, the one who is a, like some sort of villain uh, because she goes against Blanca, who we know a lot more. And I want to know a lot more about Electra because she is a, a, a mother. She has taken care of Blanca when she needed. Uh, and uh, I want to know more about her. I want to know about her fight. I want to know about her struggle. I want to know her and why this is so important to her, you know? Um, because I don't think that just being bitchy bitch is all that there is to the character, you know? And I'm intrigued by that, you know? I want to know how she started, how she did all of this, how she created a legend for herself, you know? Uh, I want to know because honestly, it's, it's in, it will be interesting, I think. And I do think that the fact that she bailed her out, it has a lot more to do with uh, not wanting her in harm's way rather than just because of the ball. Yes, of course, she has an amazing time by defeating her. I'm not saying no, but I still think that she uh, she does care about Blanca, you know? Ultimately, they were a family, despite, you know, the fact that they were kind of fighting, but that's what family does. They fight, you know? Uh, so I want to know more and more about Electra as well, you know? And I, I just feel like she's going to be key also for, for Blanca. Um, yeah. Then Damon, I just, you know, I was, when, when he was dancing in his rehearsal, he feels it. It's just something that he just feels his body is his passion. And, you know, sometimes you have it or you don't, like the teacher said. And he has it, you know, he's amazing, amazing. And I, I just love how, how he is, you know, really he knew what he wanted. Now he's getting it. And like, you know, his parents will be ashamed about the fact that they push him away one day when he is one of the greatest greatest dancers uh and they are they haven't been there for for him you know uh, also you have um his relationship with ricky i feel so sad because it's kind of like two sides of the same coin both of them living in the street uh for you know he's lucky you know damon who, who found Blanca, who's taking care of him in a way, he has a place to live and all of that, and he's living his dream, but Ricky didn't have that opportunity, you know, he didn't, and, and, uh, sadly, since he didn't have that opportunity, he's still there, you know, but in a way, I feel like what Blanca did with, um, Damon, he kind of is trying to do that, uh, with, um, with Ricky, because he's trying to, like, you know, support him and like trying to get him to see a, a different world that they can live a different world, you know? Um, so yeah, that was, that was, that was beautiful as well. Also the conversation, uh, the birds and the bees, uh, conversation between Blanca and Damon loved it because, you know, I think that we have come to a point where, um, you know, we have more information about sexuality, about gender, about all of that. And while we still are trying to strive for more, there is the enough uh, information when it comes to safe sex. And it's insane that, well, here in Peru, they used to teach, uh, uh, what is this, like sexual orientation? Is that the name of the class? I don't know. But they used to teach you, you know, and it was always more about, of course, straight sex and, and uh, you know, what you had to do and, you know, the banana and things like that. Uh, but they, I think they taught us that in like, I don't know, my last year of high school. I don't remember, honestly. Uh, but there is, you know, the, and I think that they don't teach that now. I don't know. But like, the thing is that, um, how is it that in the world that we live, we don't teach our kids, or I, I don't know, at least here in my country, you know, about safe, safe sex in the, uh, when, is, when it comes to same-sex uh, couples, you know? 
I think it's a must because honestly, now that we have a lot more access to the internet, they're going to learn and it's better if they learn in a, in a safe em environment, you know? Um, yeah, because then, you know, we need to stop STDs and things like that. And with protection, uh, you know, it, um, it, it helps everyone, you know, and it, it, it saves lives at the same time. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so this was an amazing episode. I loved it. I loved everything about it. Uh, I think that uh, I wish I could just like bench the entire show. Um, cause it's just so amazing and I might do it. Uh, cause it's just amazing. I loved it. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you guys are enjoying my reactions as well. Uh, give it a lot of thumbs up. If you love Pose, subscribe for more comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon to watch the extended version and yeah. That's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and for all your support. You guys are truly fantastic. Uh, I love uh, the fact that you guys like my reactions enough that you are willing to sponsor seasons like Yana James here on Patreon for sponsoring the entire first season of Pose. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You guys are amazing, and I hope that you guys enjoy this reaction as well. Um, and yeah, also, who I want to know more is about Billy Porter's character. I want to know more. I want to see more of him as well because, you know, so far as him, the presenter at the balls, but I want to know more and I want to see more. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for another reaction video for Pose. That's it. Mwah. See you next time. Bye.